What up, what up, divas? It's Lindsay coming at you. I'm going to share with you guys some information about our Peer Sale app. So we already talked about how to get everything set up. So we're here opening up in our home screen. Now, almost um, everything that you do is going to be from this home screen. So you've got the four options here. And down at the very bottom, you've got five options. Um, I'm sorry, six options, because you do have the home screen as well, this screen. Um, so you can, it's going to take you to the same place, whether you hit inventory here, or if you hit inventory at the bottom, it's going to take you to the very same place. So from this, we are going to start off by um, wanting to add in what current inventory you have. So what you're gonna do, the sooner you do this, the better, because of course this works so much easier if you don't have a whole lot of inventory to start off with. So for you brand new consultants, you're doing amazing because you're gonna add in products that are sellable. You are not adding in products here that are part of your demo that you have opened and showing to people. Now, if you have something on your table that is not opened, that is sellable, say maybe you have a uh, full-size bottle of the coochie great head um, the enhancement gels and creams those are things that people are not going to be opening or touching then you can use those still as inventory but other than that we're going to pretty much consider everything that came in your demo kit and everything that you put on your demo table as demo items and those all get put into a different spot. Make sure you do keep track of it because those are all a write-off, right? So we are talking about things that are in your inventory, the things that you can sell on hand. So with Pure Romance, every time we get new products, they are going to add them into our Pure Sale. Sometimes it takes up to 24 hours or so, or there could be a glitch. So just keep that in mind. Be patient with them. That will happen and they will get it done for us but they add the new products in and products tend to stay in our, um, our inventory list here for about two years after they've been retired. So that's why you're gonna see products like the hashtag gotta have it you see here at the top, the all about that lace. These are things that we don't um, carry anymore, but people might still have some in their inventory. So Pure Romance is nice and lets them stay in here for about two years. If there are items that you have that are not listed in here, um, maybe something that came in a grab bag, something that you're gonna be selling, you can enter it under the miscellaneous where it says right here and you can, um, when you're entering it in for sale, I'll show you how to utilize this, but you can type in any amount and uh, a note about what product it, product it is at that point. All right, so you'll see like right here that um, each item, when you click on it, hashtag gotta have it as an old item. So uh, if you do not already have it in stock, we cannot order it. So you'll see that down towards the bottom, it says allow back order sales. I wanna make sure that's clicked off because if I don't have any on hand, I can't order it. So I don't wanna accidentally sell it to somebody. This is great when products are um, limited edition and we know now that they're starting to move on their way out. So you can click the um, allow back orders tab off and it won't allow you to sell it if you don't have it on hand, which is a great tool. But the Afterglow Flirt, this is a product that we do have in stock and we can still order. So you're gonna to want to put in how many you have in your inventory. So you're gonna be able to change very easily, uh, plus and minus your on-hand count. And we wanna allow back order sales on that item because we can still order it. So I'll show you how to mark a back order when we're in the actual training for placing orders. Now, something like the all-inclusive. This is a limited edition item that had come out and you guys probably, um, there's always different sale items that are available for us. And then when I do a customer appreciation type sale, this is when my customers get a chance to get these products at a great deal. 
So I never want to sell them for less than what I paid for that, but I can mark it down to where they're getting a great deal and I'm still making money. So that's where you would use that temporary sale button for getting ready for something like a flash sale or a um, customer appreciation deal. So again, I don't want to, um, or I can't allow back orders because the all-inclusive is technically still available right now, but I marked it as temporary sale. I took $40 off the price and it says here that my sale price is now $89 and I only have one on hand that I would be willing to sell that product for. So if you are wanting to make sure you don't sell anymore, you can click, even though it says that the product's still available, I can say I don't want to allow back orders because I only have one that I'm going to sell at that price. And it helps to keep track of things a little bit easier for you as well. Now, each time that we order from the corporate office, you guys know we get our um, inventory list, your sales order um, sheet that comes with each order. So when you get that in the mail um, with your products, you're going to pull it out and you're going to want to go through each item and change the amount that you have on hand. So I just got my order in with the new products. So I would click on the Aura Juniper Bergamot and add in that I just got six more of those. So I have those now on hand to be able to sell. So you would go through and do that with every single item. I'm not going to leave that like that because I don't have the full one in front of me <laughs> and I don't want to forget to add every single one when I'm doing my inventory list. So it's always a great idea to do this every single time you place an order. It's going to keep track as you place orders through your Pure Sale app. It's going to uh, subtract these out of your on-hand items and it keeps track of that for